everyone. I wanted to do a quick video discussing you telling others who you know that are committing sin about their sin. First, before we start, if you love the Lord and you know that there is heaven and there's hell, and people are going to go to hell. It's clear because it's in the Bible. So it's going to happen. But when you know the Lord and love the Lord. And you understand. That God's word is God's word. His word will not come back void. You're going to want to tell people and warn them. Um, of the dangers of hell and tell them about the gospel. If you know of someone committing sin that you know the Bible clearly says is sin, you're going to tell them. You're not going to cover it because they're your friend, you don't want to hurt their feelings, whatever that means because this thing is bigger than feelings. We're talking about a final destination for eternity. We're talking about heaven and hell. So you're gonna want to tell them what they're doing wrong. It doesn't matter who it is, but especially those people that are close to you that you love and care about, you want to tell them the truth. Even if it means them being upset with you, you don't care because it's more important to you that they hear the truth and make a very, very, make a decision based upon the truth and the word of God for their life. It's bigger than what we see on earth. It's bigger than our relationships on earth. I am submissive to the Lord. I am a servant of the Lord. I have reached a point where I don't care about what people think about what I say. Because when I'm speaking and when I'm doing these videos and I'm talking about the Lord, it's not my opinion. I'm telling you things that's what God says came from the word of God. And please, any video that I've created, research it on your own. Don't take my word for it. Research for yourself because the Bible says to study to show yourself approved. If I have taken the time to come on this YouTube channel to warn you guys it's because of my love the love that God has put inside of me I care about others I care about your destination and this wasn't me before it was all about me and who I knew and you know they were okay that's that's not how to live when God shows you the truth right from wrong you denounce yourself and you think about others and if by denouncing myself, you're mad at me or people don't like what I have to say because I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm concerned about their final destination if they're going to heaven or hell and they're angry, that's okay with me now because I have a duty to do that's bigger than myself. It's bigger than myself. If you care about the people you're around and you see them committing sin, well, first of all, you have to deal with your own sin. You got to deal with your own sin. But once you have cleared and gotten yourself on the right path with God, you want to naturally make sure that the people that you love and care about are also, are also going on that right path. It's just going to be natural. You just want that. 
There's no way you can want to live righteous and not care about the people around you. You want them to live righteous too. You don't want them to go to hell. So if you have people around you that you see are just going to fall in the pit, you better speak up about it. You need to tell them about this. Even if it means they're going to be angry with you. It's okay. You've told them the truth. And hopefully it may not be today. It may be years from now. It may never be. But you've told them the truth. How sad would it be that you didn't say anything and this person dies in that sin or down that wrong path. And you didn't say anything, but you say you love this person, you care about them. Reach out to those, whether it be family, friends, co-workers, whoever it may be in your life that you love. Not just the love, the close people to you. You're to love. You're to love everyone, your brother. Jesus said, love your brother, brethren, as yourself. Love your brother as yourself. It, it's not about you anymore. It's about others. Denounce who you are. Live for Christ. And when Christ lives in you, you're going to naturally want to be concerned about other people other people and their salvation you're going to want to tell people to tell them they need to be saved you're going to warn them of the sin that they're living in so they can be right with god this faith is a journey it's a journey i didn't get to this point overnight and i'm still learning and growing but I, I, my strength that I have is coming from the Lord. I didn't know everything overnight. God has put me through the last three years. He's put me in situations to experience for me to learn. Little step by step, I'm learning. I'm like, oh, okay, I now I get it. You know, oh, okay, I, I'm starting... As, as I'm going through the journey, I'm learning more and more and more. And I'm correcting things that I see that I need to correct as, as I'm growing in Christ. But naturally, I just want to tell people, especially if it's just obvious things, I want to tell people. So see my videos as not just encouragement, but please go if I have a scripture or something, go get the scripture. Go read it for yourself. Go go look at look at these things. But most I want you to understand from this particular video that you cannot just sit there and say, okay, I'm gonna get myself right. Uh, you know, they sinning over there. I'm not gonna say nothing. That's that's on them. That's not right. That's not love. That's not love. Love is painful. <laughs> I know. Love hurts. Love is not always going to be smiles. Love is correction. Love is an action. Think of Jesus on the cross. That's, you know, that's, Jesus is like the perfect love. He's perfect love. Look, look at Jesus going to the cross for our sins. Don't let your friends and family, whoever it may be, just fall at the wayside. Don't do it. Don't you want them to be in heaven with you too? This goes for your children, whoever it may be. Don't be, don't just worry about yourself. First of all, that's a selfish, that's just being selfish. And we're not supposed to be selfish. Christians are not to be selfish. 